the most dangerous nuclear submarine in the world. It is the submarine of the end of the world that threatens humanity and destroys the globe. In half an hour, its destructive power is enough to wipe out entire cities, so it is described as a sea monster. The invincible ocean giant, one push of a button. From the submarine of the end of the world is enough to wipe out humanity in record time, which caused terror to the United States. And its allies in the depths of the seas where silence and darkness prevail, and among sharks and cold waters. The most dangerous and terrifying weapon in the world moves. For many countries, one weapon is capable of wiping out half of the United States of America and turning European countries into a pile of destruction and igniting the planet forever. With the push of a button, it carries destruction and death to humanity. A submarine developed by the Soviet Union and inherited by Russia. With the operating keys, you do not have the most dangerous submarine in the world. It is the terror coming from the water. Typhoon nuclear submarine. And the Arabic Post newspaper headlined. An underwater monster. The story of the largest Russian nuclear submarine in the world that can wipe out half of America or all of Europe. Typhoon submarine. The story of the largest class of nuclear submarines ever. In the late Cold War, the Soviet goal of Project 941 of ballistic missile submarines was to compete with the enormous payload capacity of competing American submarines of the class Ohio. Contrary to popular belief, these submarines are not called Typhoon class in Soviet designation, the Soviets called Project 941 the Akula class, which means shark in Russian, but the class is better known in the West by its NATO reporting name, Typhoon. At a whopping 48,000 tons, the Typhoon class remains by far the largest class of nuclear submarines in the world. To get a good sense of its size, consider that the competing American Ohio class vessels, the world's third largest submarine, displace just under 19,000 tons. The hull of this submarine is longer than a football field, 170 meters, and 23 meters wide. The Typhoon can carry 20 or 39 RIF ballistic missiles, which have a range of 8,300 kilometers, and the shark can stay at sea for 180 days at a time. It can also carry nearly 200 nuclear warheads. The submarine's warhead consists of 10 self-guided warheads, 6 533mm torpedo systems, and 8 IGLA air defense systems. The Typhoon submarine is capable of causing untold destruction within minutes. The outer hull of these submarines is made of light steel and the torpedo sections are made of titanium. Its design makes it easy for them to sail under the ice and remain at sea for as long as possible. They can then break through the ice to launch a devastating nuclear barrage against NATO infrastructure, causing untold destruction within minutes. To this end, the Typhoon class was built with up to five titanium pressure hulls, which insulated its massive payload from the shock of launch. The strong multi-hull construction of this terrifying submarine can also protect the crew from any kind of danger. The Russian Navy currently has three nuclear submarines of this class, the Dmitry Donskoy, which is testing the Bulava missile system, and two others, the Arkhangelsk and Severstal. The Typhoon class of Russian submarines was so large in part to allow for the huge R-39 RIF ballistic missiles, which are themselves larger than their American counterparts due to the differences in the maturity of the plastic industry between the two countries. The enormous size of the Typhoon ships also allowed for the presence of a solarium, a swimming pool and a sauna. But whatever the benefits of the durability of these submarines, they certainly did not help control the exorbitant cost of production. Titanium is known to be difficult to handle and extract under any conditions, but especially in the huge quantities required by the size of the Typhoon ships. 
Typhoon submarines with the largest payload of destructive ballistic missiles reached their final stages. As mentioned earlier, the Typhoon submarines carry 20 R-39 RIF ballistic missiles. These missiles, which have recently been replaced by the new RSM-56 Bulava SLBMs, feature 100 kiloton warheads and an operational range of about 8,000 kilometers. The submarine is also armed with six standard 533mm torpedo tubes for a last-ditch effort to defend itself. The Russian Typhoon class of submarines was immortalized in Tom Clancy's novel The Hunt for Red October and was adapted into a 1990 film. The experimental SSBN Red October is one of the most famous fictional submarines ever featured in film and literature. In total, Six submarines of this type were built in Soviet Russia between 1977 and 1989. However, according to the terms of one of the disarmament agreements signed by Russia and the United States in the early 1990s, under Gorbachev, Russia had to withdraw three Typhoon or Akula submarines from service. Indeed, the nuclear reactors were removed from these nuclear-powered submarines and remained in ports for decades. The first and only remaining Typhoon-class submarine, Dmitry Donskoy, was commissioned by the Northern Fleet in 1981. The five subsequent Typhoon-class submarines entered service until 1989 and were either scrapped or decommissioned by 2000. The Dmitry Donskoy served as a regular tester of Bulava missiles. The full scope of Russia's future plans for the submarine remains unclear, but it is reported to remain in service through 2026. The Donskoy, along with the Delta IV and three SSBNs currently serving in the Northern Fleet, will be phased out, with Russia's new Borei-class strategic nuclear submarine set to take the helm in the coming decades. The Borei-class submarines feature a completely new post-Soviet design. The basic concept is simple. The Russian Navy wants a smaller, lighter strategic submarine that can deliver a greater payload. The Borei is significantly shorter and faster, and most importantly, it carries the much-improved RSM-56 Bulava missile, a derivative of Russia's Topol-M intercontinental ballistic missile. With three Borei submarines in active service by 2006, the Russian Navy announced in 2008 that the remaining seven Borei ships planned through 2024 would be part of the new Borei II revision, also known as Project 955A, which features lower noise levels, stronger communications, and unique crew living quarters. The popular mechanics newspaper headlined, Russia's giant submarines are more terrifying than you can imagine. Russia Today newspaper headlined. The largest submarine in the world is still in the Russian Navy's formation. Al Jazeera Net headlined. The most dangerous nuclear submarine in the world. Why did Russia rush to put the Doomsday into service? Russia was hiding the Belgorod submarine to control the Arctic but it rushed to put what is known as the mother of submarines into service after its naval forces recently received it. Russian President Vladimir Putin personally supervises its operation, and it is capable of wiping out entire cities in minutes. Described as the ocean monster and the invincible sea giant, its nuclear power is capable of generating radioactive tsunamis that exceed half a kilometer in height, and this is only the tip of the iceberg of its destructive capabilities. In addition to being designed to carry deadly weapons that the world has never seen before, a single push of a button could be enough for the Doomsday submarine to threaten humanity in a wide area in half an hour, according to military experts. Zero Hour came at the height of the war on Ukraine, specifically on July 8, when the Russian Navy announced the reinforcement of the Northern Fleet with a Doomsday Submarine, another nickname for the submarine, actually called Belgorod K-329. At that time, 
Moscow revealed that what they also called the God of the Seas had entered actual trials in the waters of the Sivirodvinsk Basin overlooking the White Sea north of the European part of Russia in the Arctic Ocean, weeks before the scheduled date. Sky News Arabia headlined With its latest nuclear submarines Russia strengthens its presence in the Pacific Ocean Russia's newest nuclear-powered submarine armed with ballistic missiles will move to a permanent base on the Kamchatka Peninsula in August, the TASS news agency reported on Wednesday. The move is part of Moscow's efforts to bolster its military presence in the Pacific Ocean. The Generalissimo Suvorov, which entered service in late 2022, carries up to 16 Russian Bulava nuclear-tipped missiles. The submarine will undergo an internal transfer from the northern, Arctic, fleet to the Pacific fleet in August, the state-run TASS news agency quoted a source close to the military administration as saying. Russia is beefing up defenses in its vast eastern regions bordering the Asia-Pacific as it accuses the United States of expanding its presence, raising security concerns in Japan and across the region. According to Russian agencies, the submarine is the sixth of the Borei class of smaller, more stealthy submarines, and will replace the country's previous submarines equipped with ballistic missiles.